already hit in the week two, which is game three. But, man, this thing is rolling. How are you doing today, Coach? I'm doing fine, Doc. Uh, this is another great day, and uh, I'm looking forward to giving out some, some grades, uh, some good ones, and some some high, high grades and some low grades. Well, I'm sure interested to see how this one plans out for you, man. And uh, we might as well get into it. Uh, uh, a survival week, I call it, as we get ready for uh, week two, game three for some. Right. But nonetheless, we, we're here. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And first up for a grade, uh, Mercer played Bethune-Cookman. Mercer won that game 31-2. to two. Uh, I'm going to give Bethune-Cookman a D in this one because you only uh, get a safety uh, against another FCS school. So they they get a D. I gave D minus. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Wow. I gave a D minus. I was thoroughly disappointed. Thoroughly disappointed. Right. Right. I, right. I gave a D minus. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Next up, Florida and them made the trip down to Miami to play Miami the Hurricanes, and uh, Miami won that game fifty six to nine. Uh, I'm going I'm to give uh, Florida A&M a and a C minus on this one. Yes, sir. I gave them a C. Um, they, they did represent where they scored nine points. They are still where they are expected to be um, in the FCS level. So I gave, I gave them um, a, the grade of a, of a D on that. Oh, okay, okay. And then next up, down in Montgomery, Alabama State played host to Miles, Miles College. Alabama State won that game 24-3. to I, I'm going to have to give Alabama State a um, a C-minus on this one. A C-minus, Coach? I gave I gave them a B-minus. A B-minus. Okay, they played a Division II school. Right. Uh, and then they when I looked at the stats, they only had 88 yards in passing. I don't know. You, you know, you can't be some high school teams uh, doing that, so – uh, I think that's part of the reason why I was so tough on them. Well, I, Miles is a pretty decent uh, program. That's why I, I did what I did, and they 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 respond the way I expected an, an upper echelon team to respond. Oh, okay, all right. Well, next up, Mississippi Valley went to Lamar. I'm gonna give Valley. I'm a. I'm going to give Valley a B minus. That's right. I'm gonna tell you why. We on the same page. We on the same page. Okay, okay. I I thought Valley uh, did well playing on the road, and you know people better not in the swag. They better not sleep on Valley this year now, because they've had some very respectable scores playing up. So that's why I gave them that that grade. I gave them a B minus because. They play Lamar tough, it seems, every time they get out. And I believe it might be Texas Southern or somebody that has Lamar this week. I want to see what the the contrast and play and results for those games. But I'm I'm proud of Valley. I get emotionally tied to Valley, and I don't know why. And they cost me some games, but they will make it up on the backside. Oh, yeah. So I get a B minus as well. All right, good, good. And next up, it was uh, Southern playing host to Savannah State. Southern won that game 42-10. to 10. Uh, Southern was at home. I'm going to give them a, a, a A- minus on this one. Okay, I gave them a B- minus as well. I gave them a B-. Minus. And, and they did everything they were supposed to do. Um, I, I, I didn't see, and I know the score indicates, but it was the more, um, I, I guess I want to see more power play from the lines on the offense and defensive line. So I gave them B minus. Right, right. All right, next up, Gramlin State played host to Tuskegee. Gramlin State won that game 37 to 20. Uh, I, I gave Gramlin a, 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 a B minus playing at home yeah. against a very good Tuskegee team. Yeah, yeah. Now I knew this was going to be a competitive game uh, because what Tuskegee has brought over the past. And um, I, I'm, I was pleased with the results from both teams, so I was okay with that B minus for Grambling as well. Okay. And then next up, uh, down to Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson State played host to Lane College, 
and Jackson State did what they were supposed to do. They dominated the game and won 58-7. to Jackson State would get an A for that game for me. And I gave them an A-. minus. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, I'm tight this year, Coach. I'm I tight. See, I see. Yes, sir. All right. Next up, uh, Texas Southern went over to play Rice. Rice won that game 69-7. to I'm going <laughs> to give uh, Texas Southern uh, a D in this game. I'm giving them a D minus. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. They done shot all their energy <laughs> and whooped on my Panthers and then went and laid an egg the next week. Man, I was like, that had me so convinced I even picked them rascals. You know, but no, I, I gave them a D minus, man. They was, as I say, from the White House to the outhouse. <laughs> Real quick, brother. Yep. Real quick. Yep, yep. All right, next up. Alcorn State made the trip up to Nashville to play Vanderbilt. Uh, Alcorn lost that game 55-0. to zero. They get a D because Vanderbilt is toward the bottom of the SA, uh, SEC, and I would have expected uh, Alcorn to get on the board. I gave a D minus. I ain't, you know, yeah, I gave a D minus. Like you say, come on, we know it's an SEC school. We're talking Vanderbilt. I was expecting at least 10 points from uh, all corn in this game. Yeah, so I was know. highly disappointed. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, next up, we go up to the bluff, where Arkansas Pine Bluff played host to Arkansas Baptist, and they won that game 73-0. to zero. Uh, I'm going to give the home team uh, an A-minus in this game. I'm giving them an A-plus. <laughs> Number one, they started out struggling at first. Like, Wait a minute. We shouldn't be this deep in the in the first quarter and had a score that we have, but they finally turned it up and they finally took advantage of somebody they should have taken advantage of and looked like a big boy school should when they play someone uh, that's not necessarily on their tier. So I gave them an A minus. Okay. And next up, uh, we're going to stop here in Huntsville, Alabama, where Alabama A and M played host Kentucky State. Uh, Alabama A and M won this game forty nine to seven. And they dominated the game, um, and I gave them a, a, a A for this game. You gave them an A, I gave them a B plus. Okay. And I and I gave them a B plus because they did everything right, um, and they were supposed to do it. Uh, but and I would have gave them an A, but I didn't hear coach give me a Ric Flair this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Yep, then, yeah. All right. Next up, were well, your beloved Panthers? who uh, did an outstanding job. They played Northwestern State, and they won that game 37-31. to And I gave PV an A for winning this game. Uh-uh. 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 No, sir. Uh-oh. Not at all. Not, not nowhere <laughs> remotely close. And I'm going to tell you why. They did what they were supposed to do on uh, the program Northwestern State, okay? Now, Northwestern State lost by six. Uh, this team, to give you a quick history of this team, they only played six games last season. They shut wow. their season down last season because they had a tragic death of a ball player. And so this had a lot of clouds over them. And here's what, where the C-minus is coming. Here's where the C-minus is coming. You had 12 penalties for 129 yards, or 124 yards, okay? You had two pick sixes, okay? Um, and it was something else. I want to say uh, a fumble or a block, something. They, but they had three mishaps, which made this game closer than what it should have ever been. So very um, sloppy, huh? Yeah, very sloppy, poor play. Um, uh, still need to work on some discipline areas, you know, dead ball fouls, those kill you. And just the overall attitude, you know, when you when you're handling up on a team, at least the way I was coached up, when you dominate a team that you're supposed to dominate, act like you've been there before. Right, right. That's true. Act That's like true. you've been there before. This like, this is what I this is what I bust my tail for. This is why I hit the weight room. This is why I made the sacrifices to come to, uh, this far to go to school, I'm supposed to expect these results. Act like you've been before. Okay. So that's why I gave a C minus, coach. 
All right. Yeah. Well, they well they they got to get their act together so that they can get a good grade from you. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. And so now that leads us up to this weekend, where um, the SWAC we've still got teams playing uh, out of conference play, and we're going to start off with Bethune Cookman at Western Michigan. Yes, sir. Um, we're going to have to give this one to Western Michigan, sir. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree on that. We both agree <laughs> on that. All right. Uh, Mississippi Valley goes to Murray State. Murray State. I'm not going to fall for that de- that Delta Devil trap door. Okay, and we both, uh, we both see that the same way. All right, next up, you got Arkansas Pine Bluff at Tennessee State. <sighs> They're coming off a big win. <sighs> I'm going to have to go with Tennessee State. Yep, so am I. So am I. So am I. No. All right, and then you got Grambling at Texas A&M Commerce. Come on, G man. Come on. I got to go with the Tigers, man. Not right, the Lions. You, go. the you going with Grambling? I'm going to stay with the home team, Texas A&M. Okay. Uh, Commerce. Okay. okay. Then we got Edward Waters at Alcorn. Alcorn. Correct. I'm going with Alcorn also. Then you got uh, Alabama. Now, here's the one that's, that's going to be tough. Alabama State at Sanford. Whoo! Um, golly. I got a lot of confidence in Alabama State, but I'm going to go with Sanford. Oh, week. yeah, I'm going with Sanford also. If you can't muster with 88 yards in the air, uh, I'm not putting any stock in there. All right, and here's <laughs> a good game coming up. Probably the game of the week. Southern at Jackson State. Yeah. No love lost for neither one of these buddies. Mm-hmm. Um, woo! Southern at Jackson State. Yes. I'm going to go with the home team. Yep, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm doing the same yeah. thing on that one. Yeah. Yep, yep. All righty. Now we get into our own respective schools. Uh, I'll start off with mine because we, we got the easy one. Georgetown at Alabama A&M. And, and don't, no. don't get it confused. It's not the Georgetown uh, on the East Coast. It's the Georgetown from Kentucky. That makes a big difference, too, though. Yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> In that or case, sir, in that case, let's roll with the old A&M Bulldogs. All right, and we both uh, see that the same way. And then, yes, of course, sir. And then, of course, uh, your Panthers will be on the road. They head up to Michigan State. <laughs> yeah, this is be kind of Panthers week. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there and get your money, man. Keep the bus running so yeah. we get back to the flight and get on back home. So. <laughs> Yeah, Michigan State yep, should yep. have a problem with this one, sir. Oh, you know, yeah. look, my my fraternity brother, he says, man, I bet you, uh, uh, sparkling water, that Prairie View will have double digits before the first half. I said, oh, okay. Man. I said, I'll take him up on that. He just want to support Prairie View and quench my thirst. That's mm-hmm. all it was. That's yeah. all it was. But, yeah. no, I, it, it, they should survive, hopefully. Right. And then in the, in the MEAC last week, we both picked Norfolk State. They beat yes, Virginia sir. State. Yeah, they beat Virginia State 20, uh, 28 to 23. And then since we have a uh, – we got separation on, on a game this week, Grambling and, and Texas A&M, I don't think we have to pick a uh, MEAC team because – Okay. Uh, in fact, they weren't playing – yeah, well, Hampton and – and Norfolk were playing this week anyway, but that, that's still out of conference play. So, mm-hmm. um, so, so Doc, we we have uh, we have another week in the books. We got another week in the books, and I gotta go another week. I gotta bring this question up, um, and I'm not a, a Deion Sanders basher, but when you're the trending one, you gotta be in Rome, do what the Romans do, right? 
Correct. Uh, Coach, the, the, we know that Coach Dion is unique in everything he does. But this thing is getting out of control, do you think? Well, yeah, he, he, he's, doing, he, he's doing some things that make you scratch your head. That make you stra- scratch your head. You know, there an article came out this week about uh, him trying to instruct their band to play a certain song when his son uh, scores a um, scores a touchdown instead of having the traditional stuff that Colorado has been doing for years. And then, mm-hmm. of course, uh, he came out and uh, when they were talking about uh, the game. Uh, once again, the offensive line did not do what they were supposed to do, and he all he is thinking about right now is saying that they got to protect his son. They got to protect Shadua. So I, I I don't know. There 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 are a lot of things that seem like he might be unraveling. Mm. Mm. I never even thought about that point of it because. Mm-hmm. The the mental stress is real. Oh yeah, it's 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 real. I never looked at it from that angle. I guess because that's what we know he's always done. He's always been what my pop would call a showboater, you right? Know? Right. And, and that's just his DNA. And he's definitely uh, taught and passed that trade on to his kids. But when you look at a young man in the case of Shadur, um. Game is pretty much out of control. Two minutes left, you walking off the field. Is he not conscious? I couldn't believe he, he's got to be conscious to know that cameras are going to be on him wherever he is and that they're watching him, man, and he's hurting his own stock. Right. That's that's not a look, good look for him. And then when he got in the post-game press conference, he threw his offensive line on, under the bus. He threw the offensive mm. line under the bus in the press conference, and he's yeah. got to play. He's got to play with them guys the rest of the year. Well, well, I'm going to say he ain't seen nothing yet. Don't let that line want to support you. Right. Hey, it'll be a tidal wave come through there, man. That dude get be broke up where he won't even be able to make it to draft day. So right, right. Wow. Well, well, see once again now. Now this goes back to the head coach. You know, you you gotta you gotta be on top of situations like this. And then he, okay. he, he, I haven't seen where he came out and condemned some for doing that, for leaving the field. Two minutes left in the game. Right, right. And he'll probably say he didn't know that he was gone because he was coaching. Mm. This, that, and the other. But, well, once again, I, I, I hate to bring it up, but you have to bring it up because regardless what you want to say, he'll always be a fix with our beloved conference for what oh, yes. he accomplished at Jackson. And um, you wish them luck, but, man, it, it seems like now this game they got this week against Colorado State, you know, it was a little chippy last year. Right. It's going to be very interesting to see how they come through this particular season. But um, nonetheless, I got to get my Panthers past these Spartans this weekend. And I ain't thinking about no Buffaloes <laughs> until I have to play the Buffaloes and, we're, and, and all that uh, taking care of itself. Coach, we, we, we got this week under us. I uh, hope you had a wonderful Labor Day weekend and a holiday and recovered well, man. And um, we we got uh, – who's going to be your sleeper game this week? Who you who you really looking to break out? Well, I, not necessarily to break out. I think the game of the week is going to be that Jackson State Southern game. I think that, that – I think all eyes will be, uh, will be on that game. Uh, that's just – that's a great matchup in the SWAC and, you know, uh, two schools that uh, like going after each other. So I, yes, I'm we, looking forward. I'm looking forward to that game. And we both picked the home team in that game. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we'll see. We'll see how the dust settles when it's all said and over with, Coach. Any closing thoughts and comments this week, sir? Oh well, no. I just want to continue to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing, and uh, I look forward to next week. Uh, to see how our picks come out, and uh, we'll be ready for some more grades uh, next week. We'll be, we'll be ready for some more grades. Look, you class, you class members, y'all better do your work, man, because I got a 
Pipe Pen this year. I got a yep. Pipe Pen this year. Pipe yep. Pen. He is our guru, Coach Van Petaway. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Remind you guys that you can subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Also, follow me on Twitter X at the Mike Prince Show. And until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.